Change your past to change your future. Does it really work? Can we really change our past? Do we have to travel back in time? And if so, how can we travel back in time? Comment down below, I am changing my past to change my future. I am changing my past to change my future. That's what we're going to talk about today. And please remember, do all the good things, you know, the like, you know, the subscribe, and you know, the comment down below. Today is the day. Let's go. Hey, Inspire Tribe, how's it going? It's John here. It's Christine here. Welcome on the Inspire channel. And today we're going to talk about changing the past to change your future. Now, what does that mean? And how does that even work? Can we really change the past? Is there such a thing as time? Is time an illusion or is it real? Now, if you allow yourself to step out of the 3D human perception of time and space and realize that we are in an infinite universe with an infinite number of dimensions, with an infinite number of possibilities, then this mindset will allow you to fully grasp what we're going to talk about today and this easy technique that Christine and I and a few others that we know have been using and that is not just a lot of fun but truly once you're in the flow of it will not just change your past but truly change your future okay and so chances are that you're already doing what we're doing you're probably already scripting and some of you are keeping a diary, some of you are scripting their affirmations, or some of you are sculpturing their future by, you know, writing from and about what you desire. But what we're talking about today is a little different. It does include scripting, but we call it re-scripting, okay? Re-scripting. What does that mean? Well, a lot of people you know, towards the end of their day, sit down and they either write a diary where they record what has happened during the day, or they will write their affirmations, which is a new, wonderful statement of their new reality. But re-scripting means that, let's say it's eight o'clock in the evening, and you sit down and you open your notebook, and, you know, I, I do encourage you that someday, maybe, maybe today, maybe another day, Get one of those beautiful books. This is one that Christine got me. It feels amazing. It feels abundant. It feels prosperous. It feels awesome. But a regular notebook will do just fine. And so you sit down and instead of recording what has happened today and just writing your affirmations, do that as well. But sit down and re-script your day. Go from the beginning to where you are right now and write the course of your day the way you desire it to be okay so you look back on your day and rather than describing what has happened describe what you would have wanted to happen okay your perfect day looking back so instead of saying you know i i this morning i drove to work and there was a terrible traffic jam and it took me three hours and i was an hour late and I didn't make the meeting and I spilled my coffee or whatnot, you really go all out. The only thing that I encourage you to do is it has to feel natural to you. So if you start your day with, if you script down, I woke up this morning and my three mates and my butler came to bring me breakfast and then the helicopter was waiting so um, it would fly me to my other palace and this doesn't feel natural to you, then this is very helpful but write your day the way you desire it to be what would you have wanted to be different and that's totally up to you as long as it feels natural let's say you're working in a job that you know soon will evolve into something more inspiring then put yourself there imagine that you're walking into the office building where you work at or you're staying at home maybe that's what you want to do and Write your day down like the perfect day, Wednesday. This is what happened today. I woke up this morning, I had a beautiful meal with my wife or husband or friend or, or family and uh, I took a walk through the woods and I, you know, I felt the inspiration from nature and I, I came back and 
created a beautiful painting and took a quick snapshot and, and posted it on Instagram and someone offered me half a million dollars. What an amazing feeling and I sold it for 750,000. It is completely up to you what your dream day looks like. But every night when you go to bed, re-script your day. Maybe all you want to do is kind of smooth out the things that didn't feel so good and that's fine too. Just go and smooth them out. And if anything happened that didn't feel really good, change it. Change your past to change your future. And this isn't cheating, this isn't ignoring the facts, this isn't, you know, ignoring reality. This is how creative, prosperous, healthy, abundant people work. This is what they do. This is how they manifest. They don't care about facts or reality because when once they start to ignore facts and reality, they can create from the field of infinite possibilities that is always available to us. We can always create from there. So sit down at night and create from the field of infinite possibilities. Rescript your day. Rescript it according to your desires. And the only thing is that you have to feel natural about it. It has to feel natural. And you can do it every night. What is your what is the lifestyle that you want to live? Where do you want to live? Do you want to be in a different continent, different country? Do you want to live at the beach, in the mountains, in a desert, in Arizona, in Nepal? It doesn't matter. It's your life. Rescript your day and do this for at least two to three months. Make it a real beautiful ritual. And you will see that it feels a little weird at first because it's a completely new idea. But once you get the hang of it, you will almost get addicted to it because it is so much fun to re-script your day. And you can still, if you want to, in a separate notebook, record your day as it was. But we encourage you to pay attention and, and really focus on the re-scripting part. This will unleash some beautiful creative ideas and your mind, you will create new connections in your mind. Your brain will start working in new ways. And this is what we meant. When you change your past, you change your future. Let us know down in the comments. Maybe someone is bold and brave enough to re-script right here in the comment section. Maybe you've already used this technique. Whatever it is, let us know down in the comments. We love to hear from you. And as always, please like, please share, please subscribe. Spread the love just like we're spreading it every day. We love you guys and we're wishing you an inspired rest of your day.